is up welcome back to my channel i'm so excited for tonight's little vlog i feel like i never film like night vlogs night in my life so not necessarily a night routine but just kind of like an evening chill vlog and honestly they're some of my favorite to watch it's just nice to break up like the work vlogs with some like chill relaxing vlogs so you guys know i'm currently in the process of kind of establishing all new routines 2021 is the year that i get into good routines and my night routine is something that has been slacking especially since working from home and i'm gonna film an updated nine to five night routine once i have it completely established but i wanted to take you guys along and kind of chat about my night routine so far my everyday skincare i'm recording a podcast with lily in a little bit and just having a cozy fun chill evening with me and i'll kind of share some things that i'm doing to implement a night routine but just that'd be fun to change it up from the work vlogs and spend a little evening together. So it's currently four and one of my biggest things for the new year was logging off of work as soon as the workday is done. Obviously everyone's job is different, but I work a eight to four job. I'm not expected to be online past four unless I'm on call or we have like a meeting or something. So as soon as four o'clock hits, I close my computer and I physically put it away. And then we'll probably go for a little walk with Stella. Every night is different for me depending if Matt's home. If Matt's not home, he's currently at work right now. So obviously my night routine kind of varies a bit. Um, I've been really anxious today, like extremely anxious and I'm not really sure why. So I'm gonna go for a nice walk, listen to a podcast for a little bit, kind of clear my head. And then at five, I'm recording with Lily and I am so excited. So let's go put the computer upstairs and get ready for a little W-A-L-K and have a fun evening. Welcome to the vlog. Now is the time I would change into a comfier outfit, but um, today was one of those days where I only got partially dressed, so I'm just wearing like a kind of cute slouchy shirt, sweater, and then I'm just wearing matte sweatpants, so I'm not changing. This is literally so comfy, and my hair is just like back in a claw clip. Who's surprised? But yeah, I'm so excited. I feel like my night routine has been so much more fun lately, so... And after the work day is done, I put my computer away, which you guys just saw. And then honestly, my night routine changes literally every day. Sometimes Stella and I go for a walk right after work. Sometimes we go after dinner. It really depends on the day. Um, because I'm recording a podcast at five, I think I'm going to go for a quick walk with her, just stretch a bit. I've been really anxious today. I don't really know why. I think it's just I have a lot going on with work. So I like to unplug and go for a walk. So we're going to go for a good... We went for like an hour long walk at lunch today. So I think we'll go for like a 10, 15 minute walk just to get out of the house, clear our heads a little bit. And then I think I have some packages coming. So I'll show you guys that. And then obviously we're recording the podcast in a little bit. So let's go for a little walk. Alrighty guys, we are back from our walk now and we have mucho Amazon packages. And I'm excited to show you guys because some of them are going to be good for my night routine. I think one of these is actually for Matt, but it's for us. So I'll open it. My address was in that, but I'm so excited. So we got one of these. I'll link it below. It's from Amazon, but it is a remote nightlight projector. I'm so excited. So basically it like casts stars on the ceiling, I think. And then it can also like play music and stuff. I'll set it up after or like in a different vlog for you guys, but I'm so excited for this because when Matt's not here, I can't sleep in the dark because I'm a baby and I always have a light on and it's too bright. So I thought this would be really, really nice. So I'm really excited. If I don't show you guys tonight, which I'll try, I'll show you guys in another vlog. Stella, a um, LED dog collar because we've been taking her to the dog park at night because it's a lot quieter. And since we're like in lockdown and stuff, I just don't feel comfortable going during the day. Um, so we got her this collar. It looks like this. It's pink and it lights up. Isn't that so cool? So... I'm gonna put it on her. Oh, cool, and it flashes. Okay. I ordered, I don't even remember what's in here. I thought this was gonna be my Switch game and I was so excited, but oh well. Okay, so if you guys don't know, I hate taking showers. I think it's just like not fun. So this year I'm romanticizing the idea of taking a shower and I bought products that like, you were excited to like have a self care night with, you know, like a good body wash, so. I got some new stuff. Let me know if any of you guys have tried this, but um, I asked on Instagram 
like the weirdest question. I think it has to do with the fact that Matt and I sleep in the same bed, but ever since I moved in, my hair gets really greasy really quick and I can't figure out why. Someone said to try an anti-residue shampoo and that the Neutrogena one was good. So it just says use this once a week shampoo to instantly remove residue that can cause greasy hair. So I'm gonna try this and see if it works. It'll probably be kind of like a Sunday thing, but got that. It's because I don't have like a good body wash. So I just got this Aveeno Stress Relief um, lavender, chamomile, and yingling. I never know how to say it, but it's just like this nice body wash. And like I said, I just need to get like good products that I look forward to using in the shower. So I got this. Let's smell it and see what it smells like. Oh my God, that smells so like nice and relaxing. So yay, that's so exciting. I am so excited. I'm going to record the podcast and then we're going to go plug this in and play around with it. But exciting Amazon hauls. Okay. Um, it is 440. So I have 20 minutes. I'm probably going to sit on the couch and just like watch some YouTube and snuggle with Stella. It's usually how I decompress after work. And then I'll check in with you guys when I'm about to record the podcast. Hi to the vlog. You missed the vlog, huh? Guys, how can I forget to light a candle? This is a new candle. I'm so excited. Porchling Candle Co. is the best. She's from Waterloo. She sent me over some candles, but I love them so much. You guys might remember, actually, we got some of these candles when we were on our days in road trip. We stopped at a candle store and got some, and I love her candles so, so much. So this is our downstairs one, and I'm just, like, obsessed with her labels. Also, we put this here. It was on the dining table, which, by the way, we did move the dining table around, but I moved this here. Matt said he liked it. So I'm going to go ahead and light a candle. I have an evening vlog without a candle, right? I have like 10 minutes so I'm recording the podcast but I really want to set this up and see if it works so we're gonna try it I don't know I want to it just looks it just looks fun and, okay I'm gonna set this up and then I'll show you guys what it ends up looking like I have it set up I, I'm sure you can tell I think it's supposed to be stars but I'm like really not sure either way it looks really cool I kind of feel like we're in like a haunted house or something but I'm like totally living for this vibe it's really cool Stella is very confused but it works. I literally just plugged it in and you can connect your phone to Bluetooth so it plays music. But I think this looks so cool and such a vibe. Dining room table. I'm going to ignore the fact that there is a board game around me. But I'm getting ready to record with Lily. When I record guest podcasts, I do them over Zoom and I don't use my mic because I find the quality gets really weird. I just use headphones. Gold fashion ones. I would like AirPods, but maybe one day. And yeah, I don't have... Um, like a script or anything i typically just like to make my podcast guest episodes like flow very naturally um so i don't have like a script or anything to have up on the screen i just open zoom i have a big thing of water here i typically give stella a bully stick which keeps her occupied for like an hour and it's 4 59 so i'm gonna start recording and i will chat with you guys probably after i record i'm so excited i love lily so much I just got off the podcast recording with Lily. Wine Wednesday, so we're having a glass of Pinot. And then I'm just having this. It's just pesto chicken pasta. My go-to. Hashtag dairy free life. Hi, guys. It is the next day. I figured I would continue this vlog on. And this is going to be so random and, like, so ranty. But I recorded my podcast with Lily yesterday. And I just had so many realizations when I was on it. And we had such a good chat. I can't wait for the episode to go live. But... First of all, big announcements. I am going to trial a no upload day month in February. Um, YouTube doesn't stress me out by any means. Like, I love it. But sometimes the thought of vlogging stresses me out. And when you have an upload schedule, like, I try and be a week ahead. For example, let's say I had to get a video up tomorrow and I didn't feel like vlogging today. I would basically have to force myself to vlog today to get the video up for tomorrow. Whereas if I didn't have an upload schedule, I could just kind of be like, oh, that's fine. I'll just vlog when I feel like it. So we're going to try it out and see. I put a poll up on Instagram and, like, 94% of you didn't care that I had an upload as long as I stayed consistent. So there's still going to be three videos a week. And it'll be weeks that I still upload Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, like, next week because I already my videos planned out but it's more for like the weeks after that like maybe it'll be monday wednesday friday maybe it'll be sunday thursday friday like who knows you know what i mean but i promise you the vlogs aren't going anywhere if anything i feel like this will help me upload more because i'll just be able to vlog whenever so that's the first update 
and i think that's all i actually had to update you guys on but it's pretty late actually this morning it's 11 o'clock and matt and i got starbucks this morning i'm holding his starbucks because i used it for an instagram picture but um i don't know why i put mine in my mason jar but i did i just got a venti cold brew with oat milk and a pump of caramel and i've just been working away i just posted a super cute instagram picture which i'm really proud of you guys i've been really trying to step up my instagram game and i'm really proud of myself um so i just posted this picture on instagram in my new jacket which is exciting so that is that but today's gonna be a fun day i actually have a call at one which i'm really excited about and hopefully i can give you guys kind of like a little health update after with um kayla from be well with kayla and she is a let me look up like what her actual title is um i'll leave her instagram down below but she's like a holistic health and, and nutrition coach and she specializes in hormonal health which if you guys don't know i struggle with um like pcos and obviously hormonal acne so i'm gonna have a chat with her i'm really excited lanny talks about her all the time so i'm really excited to have my consultation with her and see how that goes just kind of get some guidance in terms of my health and wellness um and yeah i just placed an order for natural market which i'm so excited about because i finally found the watermelon smart sweets in canada i'm really excited about that and i ran out of maca powder so i had to get that but i also had a croissant for breakfast delicious and yeah we're just working the day away i think i'll probably just like vlog for the day i'll give you guys some updates after that consultation and see how that goes but i'm just in a really good mood and yeah I'm, yeah so that's like my little morning update i just wanted to come on and say hello and i'm gonna get back to work for a little bit and probably chat with you guys closer to like one ish maybe catch up with you guys after like my little consultation so yeah happy friday <laughs> Is atrocious in my office which is why i don't ever work here in the afternoon um but it is two i got off of that call with kayla she was literally so so sweet and i kind of talked to you guys kind of about my plan i think but i don't want to give you guys too much detail because even though the consultation is free like if you are interested you should definitely reach out to her she was really really sweet and super knowledgeable but i just made a big green smoothie big um and yeah you guys always ask me what's in my smoothies and it's like typically the same but this one just has banana frozen banana frozen mango flax seeds spirulina maca powder um like three handfuls of spinach half a cucumber three stalks of celery like three pieces of celery um water and that's it so that's my big big smoothie it helps me get in the greens because you guys know i really struggle with i have pcos and cystic acne and hormonal acne and this is the best my skin has been in forever this is just all scarring i definitely need to make an appointment to get like micro needling done when things are open um but a simple skincare routine so like cleanser toner moisturizer spf that's it like no fancy serums and stuff like those work for some people but my skin is really sensitive and i thrive off of a really simple skincare routine and then i'm gonna start keeping a food diary just to see what aggravates me because i think it's dairy but like it could just not be you know what i mean um it could be something completely different so i'm gonna keep a food diary um and see what helps eating more of an anti-inflammatory diet um eating more whole foods i really really need to do that even though it's a bit more expensive but i really need to move over to more grass-fed and organic chickens and meats and stuff because we eat a lot of chicken we're not vegetarian we eat a lot of chicken from costco and it's probably just like not the best chicken and it's probably full of hormones and antibiotics um so i really want to look into getting some cleaner meat just told me that like my body's my body's producing too many hormones and that's why i'm developing cystic acne so pumping my body full of more meats that have hormones in it isn't the best idea so i really want to do that so i think this weekend i'll go to the grocery store and just kind of get some more stuff i want to start doing coconut water in my smoothies instead of milk um but yeah i want to go more whole food and less packaged and processed food so yeah great great talk i learned so much she was so knowledgeable um and if you guys are interested i'll have her instagram down below she does free consultations so we love supporting gals but i'm gonna finish my work day it's two and i might go whole foods tonight i might go tomorrow i haven't really decided yet when i'm gonna go but i just want to go and stock up some on some of my like 
whole food things you guys know i go to whole foods like once a month to just stock up on a few things so i might do that just to get out of the house but we'll see i could also go this weekend so we'll find out and then take you guys through a little bit of my evening tonight and then yeah that's like really all it's a really really chill day came downstairs to make a little afternoon coffee look how cute this cup is it's so cute isn't it Lanny always has a smoothie in one of these cups and I saw one at my parents' house and I took it and it's like the perfect little size for a nice coffee. I'll try and link something similar, but I just think it's so cute and small and I don't know. But yeah, having my afternoon coffee. Yeah. Alrighty guys, I'm actually going to go ahead and end the vlog off here just because I'm going to finish my work day and then I think I'm going to have a really chill, low-key night and just like relax at home and not really do much. I'm probably going to finish work take a nap because matt and i always do that before he works his first night we take a nap together so we're gonna take a nap watch grays have a glass of wine have some dinner and watch a movie but i'm gonna sit here in my blanket like i'm literally complaining that i'm cold but i'm drinking two cold beverages who am i but i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog you guys like love these like boring chill vlogs i think it's just because we're all in lockdown we all enjoy it but i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to give this a big thumbs up if you did enjoy subscribe if you're not already and oh the podcast episode with lily will be out sunday which the day on sunday is february 1st i believe so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog bye